So in lieu of a beauty favorites for March, I thought I would talk to y'all about some of my favorite finishing products. So these are like all over glow finishing powders, some contour options, some bronzer options. As I know a lot of you have like a basic makeup kit. And if you're looking for like one extra thing to add for your complexion, especially as we're moving into warmer months, a highlighting powder, a highlighter, um, or some kind of bronzer is a great addition to a basic makeup kit because it can take your look into like a whole different category of like a little bit warmer, a little bit different than what you're normally just doing with your makeup. If, it, if you're just like a foundation blush, eye makeup, lip balm kind of girl, adding either a highlighting powder, a glow inducing powder, or a bronzer, or both if you wanna really go all the way, is a great way to like kick your makeup up a step. So I'm gonna get into them. I'm not gonna demonstrate in this video um, you can find a lot of makeup tutorials on Instagram or here on YouTube showing how I would apply a powder like this. I just really want to focus on the products. Um, I will include links to these at the end of the video. You can click a little box that pops up on the screen, or you can find all of these products linked right below this video on YouTube. Well, it feels right to start with my very favorite. This is a uh, splurge purchase for sure. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow Face Sculpt and Highlight in Fair Medium. Um, this is my second container. This is the highlight. This is the contour powder. What I love about this is it's like foolproof. If you are apprehensive about highlighting, contouring, anything like that, and you feel like, oh, I don't know what I'm doing. If you get this palette and you apply it where I tell you to apply it in my contour video on IGTV, you will not mess it up. You can't mess it up. These, both of these, blend so beautifully into the skin. It does not look glittery. It looks so natural. So I love this. It is at a very astronomically high price point. So I've been searching for something that's a little bit more budget friendly. I found something similar. It's not as good, but it is similar. Um, anyway, this is wonderful by Charlotte Tilbury. As a follow-up, the similar version that you can find drugstore-wise is the Revolution Pro. Uh, sculpt and Glow Contour and Highlight Palette. Uh, very similar to the Charlotte Tilbury naming. Uh, this, though, in contrast to the Charlotte Tilbury one I just posted, or I just showed you, this has a little bit more shimmer in both of these components. So the contour in the Charlotte Tilbury palette is like almost completely matte, or if you look at it closely, you can see a little radiance, but it doesn't show up on your skin. Um, this is gonna show up slightly more shimmery, even the contour shade, and the highlighter is like pretty strong. Um, so this is a good option. The risk you run with this though, is if you're not careful and if you don't use a fluffy big brush, the product, if you put it on too concentrated, it can make your skin look a little bit muddy. So with this, it's really hard to put on too much. I don't know how they did it, but it's, you have to like really go uh, over and over and over again if you want to overdo it, which is not what you want to do. With this, it would be easy to overdo if you're not careful. So if you're new to adding a highlight or contour or bronzer to the face, choose a fluffy brush, something like this, instead of something like this. You can get a really concentrated contour if you use a tightly packed brush, but if you want just an all over wash of color or dimension, if you choose something fluffier, this may be a little too fluffy, but you get the idea. Um, you're not gonna press the product in like a certain line. So a fluffier brush is gonna help you from going too heavy with the product, but this is a great drugstore option if you're looking for that. Okay, let me tell you about two all over face glow powders, my very, very favorite that is sometimes hard to find. I hope they're not discontinuing it or if they haven't already. Sometimes I can find it, sometimes I can't. I can't figure it out. I don't know if it was just, just got super popular or what. It's the Becca um, Soft Light Blurring Powder. I wore this at the end of my pregnancy with Emily, my daughter that is almost two now at the time of filming this. Um, and people were like, you're glowing. Well, the pregnancy glow. I'm like, it's Becca. It is not my pregnancy. So this is a loose powder, which is my least favorite product to work with, but it makes sense for something like this. Dip a fluffy brush in here and dust this all over your skin. It's gonna look like you have that perfecting Instagram filter on your face all day. A similar product is by Laura Mercier. I love the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder for under eyes. It comes in a smaller container. I use it to set my concealer, my under eye concealer, every single day. And if I do not use that powder, 
I will get black under my eyes, either from eye makeup or just dark circles will show through. So that secret brightening powder is almost more important than the concealer itself. Anyway, this is the Laura Mercier um, Translucent Loose Setting Powder. So it's for the whole face in the Glow Edition. Um, this is, I think, new this year. It is 2020. Um, it is very similar to that Becca product I just showed you. This also is a loose powder. This is a little bit less intense than that Becca Soft Light Blurring Powder. Um, so if you want something a little bit more conservative, a little bit more natural looking, not quite as much glow, this by Laura Mercier, there's also a neutral edition, so make sure you get the glow version um, would be a great option for you. So you can put something like either one of these two products, you can control where you put it, and if you just want it where you would normally highlight, which is cheekbones, forehead, down the nose, you can do that. Or these are meant to also work all over the face. Um, so you can choose how you want to apply them. I like putting them all over the face because I use a highlighter anyway. Um, but yeah, just makeup should be fun. So have fun with it and use it how, however you want to. Okay, lower price point for a glow powder is by e.l.f. Um, this is the Halo Glow Setting Powder. Very similar to the two I just showed you. The difference with this though, let me see if I have, oh, I have light medium here. This does add quite a bit of color to your face where the Becca and the Laura Mercier products I just showed you prior, um, they will add a touch of color, but it won't really adjust how your full foundation will look. This is gonna make your skin look a little bit darker. It's a beautiful finish, a very natural glow, um, very similar to the Becca product. That Laura Mercier Glow Translucent Setting Powder is a little bit lighter. Um, so this is a little bit more budget friendly since it's by e.l.f. It's the Halo Glow Setting Powder. Um, since I have light, or I have medium here, I just read light medium. No, it's just medium. Um, I'm guessing there's a light in the dark and the light obviously would be lighter. You heard it here first, folks. We're getting deep in the truths over here. Um, so if you're lighter complected, choose the light. I usually am like a dark light or a light medium on the scale. Um, so I went with medium with this and it's a little bit dark for my skin. The last three products I'm gonna to talk to you about, this one has been a long time fave for, gosh, at least a year, I think. This is the Butter Bronzer by Physicians Formula. This got super popular on Amazon, I think, um, last year, at least that's how I found it. It does smell like coconuts. If you hate coconuts, you will hate this product. Um, I don't like to eat coconuts and I don't like coconut things, but I don't mind the smell of this. It smells like summer to me. Uh, this is a very natural, easy to use bronzer. This is warm. Don't use this as a contour. It's too, it's too warm for contour, um, but it's great to use with a fluffy brush and just kind of add warmth to the outer parts of your face, down your neck, uh, especially if you use self-tanner on the rest of your body and not your face. This will help balance that mess out for you. Um, another bronzer that I love, this one is a little bit more neutral, not quite as warm as the uh, Physicians Formula. This is the Milani Silky Matte Sunlight Bronzing Powder. This is number one. So this is the lightest bronzing powder from this collection. This could be used as a contour. It's neutral enough that you could put it like under your cheekbones, along the edge of your skin, down under your jawline, and it'll look realistic instead of putting this like warm bronzing powder there. Uh, this goes on really naturally. It adds warmth to the skin. It adds a little bit of darkness. Uh, where you put it, and it doesn't have shimmer. I love that it doesn't have shimmer. It's really kind of hard to find bronzers without shimmer, and I'm like, I don't, I don't need my whole face to like have glitter on it, y'all. Plus, if you're using a, a highlighting powder, let's say this, you don't then want to put another glowing powder on. It's gonna be too much. You're gonna shine. Okay, the last product, speaking of highlighter, I want to tell you about is this High Glass. Um, this is by NYX, also a budget-friendly option. This does not work well for me, but I wanted to tell those of you that have darker skin tones than me um, to look into this because it's a beautiful finish. It is in medium. It's a finishing powder. What's like the name of it? High glass finishing powder. Um, this though is so shimmery. Do not put this all over your face. It's going to be too intense. This was like, I think more formulated in mind to go all over your skin. And this, although it says it's a finishing powder, treat this like highlighter. Um, instead of putting it all over, you, if you do that, you're going to feel like I've just mucked up like all of my makeup. It's going to look muddy and uneven. Um, I like NYX. I like a lot of their products, but I think this should be marketed as a highlighter so you don't do what I did and feel like, oh, I need to wash my entire makeup off now. 
Um, so again, this is too dark for me. I got medium here. I would be interested to see what the light version is, maybe something more champagne and less golden, but it's a beautiful finish if you're looking for a highlighter and you have darker skin than I do. So in general, the fluffier the brush, the less product is going to apply to your skin. So if you're conservative or if you're new at this and you don't want to look like you're filling your face up with a bunch of different colors because you used to just wear flat foundation, choose a fluffier brush and then work your way down to something more compacted once you feel more confident. And I'm telling you too, on that same note, if you haven't ever tried contouring and highlighting, even like I'm not talking Kim Kardashian here, but just where it makes sense to do. So under your cheekbone a little bit, on top of your cheekbone for highlight, under here for contour, contour around the edge of your face, you'll be so pleased at how like dimensional your face looks again because foundation just flattens everything out. Um, I'm a big blush user. I love a bright pink punchy blush, but I think that using a contour and highlight almost goes farther than just swirling a little bit of blush on your cheeks. Blush is important too, don't get me wrong, but foundation flattens everything out. So finding a finishing powder like one of these um, I mentioned here or a contour powder or a highlight from this whole grouping I've told you about is really gonna make you, I think, more excited about doing your makeup if you're kind of in a rut and certainly ready for warmer months to come.